Taxi, taxi, carry me to town. Bola bola man, bola bola man, bola bola man, take me to town. Put it down, put it down, put it down, DJ yeah. Boss. There you go. That is a virus one stone. And of course, uh, we told you he's going to be joining us live on the show. It is Chuku Chuku Live, powered by Pepsi Uganda. And of course, grab yourself Pepsi Max as always. Refresh and up, get rejuvenated. This is how we do it every single Wednesdays. We keep it 100% reggae music. Oh, yes, welcome to Chuku Chuku West Nile Television. Virus, how are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Uh, oh, fantastic. I think it's your second time to be on the show. Yeah, man. Okay. Uh, we're going to be discussing a couple of stuff right here. And of course, probably he'll be telling us what is new, you know, his latest projects. Uh, uh, you know, a couple of the fact that at least the lockdown has been lifted. You know, the artists are actually riding and driving at the same time, having a good, you know, uh, 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 mileage to themselves in terms of money. And I think it's, it's, it's a good one. Uh, probably let's start with this. Yes. Uh, music 2022. You know, the cons, I mean, the lockdown has been lifted. How does it feel already? <laughs> it has been a blessing. Okay. Because the lockdown, when they removed it, it was like a joy, like uh, the world is coming to the blessing times. Okay. So it was nice. Uh, it's been a nice one, actually, you know, impressing, uh, you know, uh, the, the aftermath of the lockdown. Uh, yeah. uh, it, it's, it's now like two or three weeks. Uh, uh, have you gotten into some gigs? But so far, okay, since Friday, uh. I just rested yesterday. So making, uh, uh, meaning you, you're making money. Yeah, There's money I've been now. moving up and down, up There's and down. <laughs> yeah. There's money. There's money. Uh, I, I mean, uh, I think it's always good when you guys get a little busy. Uh, you know, uh, for concerts and, uh, you know, you, you get the money out there. I think it's a good thing. Uh, let's talk about the Back to uh, Work concert that happened recently. I think we're going to be starting it from there. Uh, you've been on the limelight. You're one of the performers, uh, you know, uh, that night and uh, uh, probably, uh, you know, you, you, you had a crazy mileage. How, how was the Back to Work concert? Back to Work concert, it was, I will say it was 50-50. Okay. Because there were so much complication in uh, back to work concert. Okay. Because it was disappointment to the to the Western Isle artists. At the same time, it was a blessing to the Western Isle artists in terms of uh, the payment, which was it was not supposed to be like that. I believe. Okay. But. Since we have been down for quite so long, it was another exposure and a way of reaching to our fans and uh, it was really, to perform in that stage, it was also another blessing thing, but the payment was with a lot okay. of complications. Okay, uh, let's, 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 let's talk about the payment. Uh, you guys have been locked down, yeah? Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, for, for, for like... Uh, uh, some good, good, good months, uh, years actually, those are two years, I remember 2020, uh, when actually the lockdown was kind of brought in, uh, but again, uh, you had this concert which was on uh, on Saturday, and uh, I don't know how the figures were, I'm told that most of the artists actually received around 150,000, others were walking away with 300, you know, it depends, I don't know, uh, I'm not so much sure about that, but again, uh, talking the finances, uh, you, you, according to you, it wasn't the right figures. That wasn't the right figure because you can't tell me you build up a, such a large concert and uh, you pay me 150, 200, 300. Okay. How possible is that? How, how genuine is that? Okay. Okay, Hassan, let me ask you a question mm, mm. about that. Mm. Imagine that stage. Mm. Yeah? Mm. That's, that stage is one of the biggest stages. 
mm. in Uganda. Mm. Then artists like uh, virus, artists like uh, artists like uh, rapper Blue Teeth, mm. artists like uh, Rags. You step on that stage, they give you 200, 300. Mm. How possible is that? When you are going to Maratha, they give you 400, 500. You go to Terego, they give you 400, 500. In that small community. Mm. So, how possible is that? Okay, uh, you, you, you talked about the exposure. Maybe they're trying to see into that, you know. They also make that consideration about the exposure. And that exposure, it was for the upcoming artists. Not okay. people like me. <laughs> because... <laughs> All my career, uh -huh. I have been performing in Arua. Okay. I have ever taken a stage in uh, Arua Hill Ground, one of the biggest. Okay. That one, in so many stages. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that one was. <laughs> that one so was if 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 you are to if you are to rate it like uh, maybe out of ten, how was the concert? Leaving all the factors a little constant, like rate it out of ten. The sound was good. Okay. Yeah. The sound was good. The fans were good. So, yeah, that, those were the few things. Rate it out of 10. You give it 10 out of 10? I will give 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10. Yeah. Others go down to the payments. That is it. Okay. Let's talk about your personal music. Uh, to me, the concert actually had a lot of... Uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 positives and also negatives. Uh, yeah, uh, if I'm to analyze it my own self. I was part of it though. Uh, you know, one, uh, Moss, Moss is very happy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Moss, Moss is very happy. I was supposed to be on that stage with Moss. That is one thing. Yeah, Moss was the official DJ. I was uh, among us the official host for the event. Uh, like three of us, I think. But at some point, uh, you know, guys came through and it, it was fun. Okay, to me. A lot of positives. Uh, one, the exposure was there. Oh, yes. Like you said, you guys have been off the limelight uh, for like two years. No performances. If they were there, they were illegal and they were not in town. And this is something which was brought in the town center uh, with a very thick, huge crowd. Uh, two, uh, the money, you know, people are complaining about. Uh, to me, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the money bit of it... Uh, does not actually sake me that much. 150,000 for an artist uh, who made an appearance for like one or two minutes. For how long were you in that mi uh, on that stage? For how long? Two minutes? Three minutes? How long was I in that stage? Mm. How long do I take to produce that one song uh -huh. I performed there? Uh -huh. How long does it take me? I, I was there for like three hours. Yeah. I was monitoring things. In the three hours I was there, I realized that uh, there was no artist who uh, performed for more he, than 10 do, minutes. It's do you know apart yes, from Monopoly? Of, of and, uh, course. Of hold course. on, hold on. Yeah. Do you know that some years back I was watching something? Uh, uh. Michael Jackson coming out and say, Hi! It was millions of money. Just hi. Okay. That word, H I. But again, uh, uh, then, virus, virus, imagine one thing. virus coming on that stage hey. and doing, doing like a five minutes performance. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one thing, uh, real quick. Moss is going to come through. I know. Yeah. Uh, I just want us to wind up with the concert. Yeah. Real quick. Uh, one, were you guys informed before you know you performed about the payments? That was that is a nice question. Uh -huh. You know that uh -huh. thing was like, uh, mm. if someone is trying to steal you, uh. the person will storm you, hijack you. I go to know that con about that concert when I was at my place. Okay. At my shop, actually. I I, they called there. you. They uh, were like, "There's a concert that here." You just they are, they need you in a golf golf ground. Okay. You take a ride. You go there. So. I went. Mm. I went to there, but... <laughs> Before man, going to stage, what was your agreement with organizers? They're paying you 150 or they're paying you this amount of money that is not okay with you. Did you react positively or negatively? Those are the things uh, I need to know. Actually, when we were receiving that money, some of us artists, they are first even choral. Okay. A lot of artists, they choral. 
Others, they were saying they will clear you after the water. Nah, nah. All those things. Big brother, there's uh, one, this uh, question uh, you have asked. Uh, uh. There is one thing I want to put forward. Okay. One is, I may accept 150,000 uh. based on the fact that the, all the West Nile artists are going to perform and all of them are going to get their share. Okay. There are many artists in West Nile. True, true. But the disappointment comes when you see the number or the list. Yeah, the list of people who received the money. Uh, they were less than five, 50 people. Uh, uh, yeah? uh. Now, he, this is where now we want to know what was allocated for West Nile. <laughs> who is this is what our concern is. <laughs> 150 uh -huh. is not bad. To me, 150 is not bad. Uh, yeah, depends yeah, on the number yeah, of the yeah. artists. Most, most has Actually, always been asking that, that question. Depends on the number of artists. Uh, yeah. But uh, now uh, the number of artists, if they are less than 50, uh, 150 is just unfair. Okay. Really unfair. Uh, okay. This is what I'm, uh, I'm looking at. Okay. Because as you are signing the also, agreement, they yeah. say it is the whole, the whole of West Nile. Uh -huh. yeah, true. Now you say, hey, West Nile, in Arua alone, let me say Arua, over, let me talk about, uh, 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 let me say a little sub region. Uh, uh. How many artists are there? Now, thousands. I, 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 I came to, let, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let, me, let me let me get into this. Let me get into this. There's one thing I realized. Uh, these are artists who were selected. I was actually uh, going through some online post from uh, the Madi artists, Madi subregion artists. They have been complaining, and even they have they have threatened to to go up to the extent of meeting General, uh, you know, Moses Ali. Uh, they are like, you know, this guy has been, you know, the guest of honor of the event. How could they only invite four or five Madi artists? Uh, blah blah blah. Yet Madi has a lot of artists, and it's true. They have they have a point. But again, my point here is, I think. Uh, this thing to me wasn't organized for all the artists. That is why there was Check. a selection. That is why. Listen up. Most way, it is back to work. Yes. Let, 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 let me answer. Let's let me, let me, let let me tell you something. You, you One. Tell me that. Let's, let's see this. One. You see. Assuming, virus. One. Assuming. They are having five or six artists from Aluru uh -huh. sub-region. Yeah. Let's say they are having five from Madi sub-region. Yeah. And of course, let's say 30 or 20 are paid from yeah. within Arua. Yeah. That is the, uh, the criteria they are using. Okay. It is not meant for every artist. There are those artists who came on their own and they be like, you know what? Let I want me... to perform just for the fans I have. Those ones were there. But this is one virus uh, who wants to be paid before he performs. Yeah? yeah. But you should, uh, most you should understand there's always that one or two artists big who brother, always big, come big brother. for free. Can 150 make an audio in a studio? Which studio here right that now? That is why I was saying. That's what I'm saying. Was the agreement fair. made? Okay, Virus. <laughs> was yeah. the agreement made before you jumped on stage? The agreement? Hey, between you and the organizers. I remember when I went there with Moss. They called us. They called me and Moss. Yeah. We went. We signed a contract. Yeah. On the contract, uh, there's the amount you're paid. Yeah. Uh, there's, uh, what was it again? Your name, right? Yeah. And of course, uh, your job description yeah. or the, the, the position you're going to hold. Most always, obviously, I yeah, saw him it writing like the that. DJ. It was so. like that. But the thing is, right <laughs> now, you first imagine, hey. out of all the DJs maybe in West Nile, uh. Eh? Uh. I thought maybe I was not going to work alone uh. as much in West Nile. I don't even know. They have, maybe the contract doesn't talk of the group. It uh. talks uh. about you yourself who is signing it. Uh. So, me, I signed, I said, ah, there are many DJs in West Nile. I assume that maybe other DJs are also going to come and what? And to work together. Through. That's why I signed. But otherwise, <laughs> if I knew I was going to be alone. <laughs> Hassan, <laughs> let me ask you something. Do you uh, think, uh, <laughs> do you think that 100, 300, uh, 500, okay. it's the money they pay those artists in Central for that? Obviously, no. Exactly. That is so, not the amount. Do you know? Yeah. There is something here with us, yeah. here in Arua, yeah. here in the West Nile, yeah. which we are not, we, are, we have not yet touched. What is that? I've always blamed West Nile artists uh, because of one or two things. One, one, you guys don't have an organization, uh -huh. an association. There used to be West Nile Musicians Association or artists, whatever. I remember it was there. I don't know what happened. It died a natural death. Those things are uh, there, but they're not active. They're not active. They're not yes, working. yes. I That's remember in, in, in 2019, 18, they used to be active. And these were supposed to be things handled by such associations. Anything comes like this, you get organized. 
you agree in the association you you, you even have a stand you'll be like you know what guys uh, thank you for this opportunity it's a good initiative but we are not taking this amount of money and of course it is not all the artists going to gang up against the organizers but it is the leaders of the association of which we don't have the associations oh yes they are there but they are not active Asan. you see that Asan. that is what the Kampala artists are doing let me tell you something all these things go through over, a channel over those things uh. let me tell you something about the the industry we have here uh. actually this is a, something i have been keeping to myself but it has always been there mm. There are some people in Arua music industry, in Western Island music industry. They are just parasites. Those people are parasites. Par parasites like how? <laughs> they, you know, a parasite is something you do the work. It's like a... It's like a Someone like, else like a tick. Eh? Something like a tick. <laughs> you so are the you're one, the one doing, working, you are the, the one, one doing the work. Hey, hey. You are the one cooking your brain. Uh. But there are some people who are benefiting on that. True. You see that? True. Yes, here we the music is still growing. But it is high time we stop that. Okay. Okay. It's high time. Uh, we're, we're, we're summarizing the, the Now, the other thing I wanted to put forward is for sure Hassan. Yeah. Let's assume that he, uh the concert was organized was to the arrangement was all well, but only that it, the only problem that may be most maybe artists are complaining is about the payment, uh, uh. the payment part of it. They were underpaid, they were underrated because when you compare to a, by the way, this is one thing that we, I think yesterday what we said. Uh, uh. An artist from Kampala, if they are paying him five million, mm. the difference should be around maybe five hundred. An artist from here should be paid four four point uh, five. This okay. one being that these are the same people who are going to what perform, but the final artist they bring an artist from Kampala to perform in Arua. They pay him five million. Then the one here in Arua, do you know how much they pay him? Mm. They'll pay you three hundred thousand or four hundred thousand. That is that is what that I'm is saying. a huge difference. One most yes. as we wind this up, I, I want us to wind the discussion about the concert here. Yeah? Uh, and of course, we are powered by Pepsi Uganda, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for watching West Nile Television. One thing, uh, you know, um, uh, virus. One, I've always said this, and I'll keep saying it: if our artists don't value themselves. There's no way we are going to be ripping big from some of these, you know, uh, uh, initiatives that come from the government. The Kampala artists, they have a stand. They have their own value. They value themselves. You go to Jose Chameleon. Chameleon will tell you, you know what? I'm not performing anywhere less than 10 million. Unless you raise at least 10 million. At most, I mean, at least if you can raise way around 8 million, you'll get my services. Come to Arua. Go to Monopoly. Monopoly will tell you I can perform at one million, but if you can give me half of that money, still I will understand. Come to Virus. Virus, I don't know how your discussion was with the organizers. They have told you they are paying you 300, and maybe it is not your value according to you. Why do you decide and go away? I mean, go ahead to perform with them. It comes down to us. And okay. I, you see, you I, see, don't blame, you I don't blame the organizers. Like, at let me point. give you an example. Yeah. yeah? If you stand, See, if you stand here, your ground, among the, trust among, me, they'll always the, understand. Look here. Among the big, the big, big artists we have here in West Nile, yeah. is Freeboy not there? Freeboy is there. Why was he not for the concert? And why, do you know why I'm happy for Freeboy? Freeboy was contacted... And he refused the offer. That is why you never saw Freeboy there. He was there backstage. But the concert went ahead. This is the same yes, thing. If he refused the yes, offer, yes. the other artists were ready to take it. But at least next time the organizers come, they'll be like, there's a guy called Freeboy who cannot take 300,000 for any, uh, any performances. Anyway, we shall, you see? we shall one day bring him here. You see that? We don't want to speak for him. Yes, but if, the fact saying, is, you see, yeah. eh? one thing that I have, uh, me, what I'm looking at, you uh. know, here we are not, we are not one. At his that is the disunity I'm yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah. For you, you refuse. Another artist comes. Go for another it. one comes. Yes. Now, who is the loser at the end of the day? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? This is the same thing which is happening. For you, you said, ah, mine, I can't accept this amount of money. But another artist said, ah, this one here, I'm okay with it. That, is, that, in your that is why we need an association. You see, free boy to him, he, he's, he's a winner. But, but somehow, he might have also lost. He said, you know what, I cannot perform. <laughs> I, I mean, like in this whatever, like stage, because I am underpaid. 
If you guys want me, at least give me 1.5. For me to perform. And Hassan. she was left. Of course, other artists who are willing to take the 300 Hassan. to take the 150k. Hassan. Freeboy was there behind the stage. Backstage. He was watching all the proceedings. Hassan. It comes down to us, the artists, not the organizers. Mm. You are talking of an organization. And now, virus one thing. As I, as I wind up, as I wind up. Yeah. Next time, the same, next time, the same guys will come back. The, when they will be coming to Freeboy, they will say, hey, hey, this one, we cannot discuss a figure less than 1 million. Because they already know. Freeboy so it didn't what he is or who he is. You see where my point is? So I was expecting most of these artists to be like, you know what? We are not taking this amount of money. Even if the, 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 the concert only had three or four artists from Arua to be like to hell with them. For you, you stand your ground. Next time they will still come back. It is not the last time they will be here. They will come back next time, but they will give you what big, you want. Big brother. But now we have opened their awesome. eyes, we have opened big their bro, ears. Me, I was expecting I was uh -huh. expecting uh -huh. uh, Jim Kennedy as a, maybe the chairperson of the, the cluster head of Uma. Yeah? You decide, yes, to stand on two legs and say, No artist should step on this stage here. We have an issue to solve. True, true, true. I was telling now, you about the maybe upcoming artist to, st <laughs> <laughs> Hassan. to step on the stage. You can let's, let's, let's take a break. We'll be having this guy. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe one last one. Virus. Before we take a break, and uh, you know, you, 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 we'll be asking you a couple of stuff. Yeah, concerning yeah. your personal music. Uh, let's wind up the, the the conversation about the concert. Yeah. No. Okay. About the concert. You know. How many times do we have such concerts in a row in a year? In in in, in uh, we can't actually predict. We can't Why? Predict. Why don't we predict? We can't predict. What? Those are those are concerts uh, that always come, uh, you know, once in a while. I remember the last time we had a very huge concert like that was uh, uh, Rua Hill. I remember the Street Jam. Okay. Yeah. Uh, those 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 are yes, some of the big they are artists. Yes. Yes. Actually, yes. four. Four. Why I four ask that question? Uh. You may blame the artists. Yeah. You may blame the West Nile artists. Uh. People will blame Western Isle artists. But that's, and let me tell you something. These artists you see in Western Isle, they are really doing their work. Good music, good vibe, no matter how difficult things go. But there is no any other, like if you take in a rua, you'll never find any stakeholder coming to you. Amos, man, you have good music. Let me help you in this. Let me do a concert for you. You get, you get like five artists to support you in your concert. Those things are not here. You are the artist. You do your music. You pay your music. You do the video. You pay. And it's only these fans. You go to villages and what? You come here. You do the work. You see that? Then how do you expect an artist you will get that little opportunity. Mm. You hit it. But with so much regret. You see that? Okay. We uh, artists who took the money uh, to perform there on that stage. Yeah, true. We didn't take that money like this is our, our value or what. Okay. Ah, that is the you point I wanted. That is the point I want from all the artists. Like because the, the money there is that, not worth your value. Yeah. But things should not be done like that. Okay. Things are not supposed to be done like that. And that is what I'm, uh, you know, at some point I said, one, virus me personally, I know your rate, I know your value, yeah? But if an, an, an organizer comes from somewhere and, uh, you know, pays you some amount of money that is, you know, kind of like undervaluing you, yeah, you can take it, depending on the factors you mentioned, yeah? You can always take it. One, there's publicity. Two, uh, you missed, you know, uh, that interface with your fans. You felt maybe you needed to get along with them. Uh, three, uh, you know, uh, there's, there's a couple of factors you can always consider. But again, I want us, you know, to, to zero down to the artists as well. Artists, yeah. Why don't you come on ground, organize yourselves before these guys ambush you? These are guys who just came abrupt. And of course, you didn't have, like you said, you were called. You didn't even know anything. But if do, if if you guys do, had an association, do you know if, the time? Uh, let, me, let me tell you uh, one thing. Will come if, and if, rob you. Okay, we're getting back. We're getting back. But I'm just summarizing. <laughs> yeah. I'm just summarizing. Just in case, uh, 
<laughs> if you guys had an organization, I don't want to be, you know, on the side of the artist because once we keep being on the side of the artist, they will never improve. At least we need to tell them the truth. The truth is, we are organized, I mean disorganized, the artists, so much disorganized. The entertainment industry in West Nile, you need an association, you need a body that can govern you, you need a body that can set values to your own personalities. Hey, virus, you are worth one million. You can't perform below that. An association can always hold that on you, yeah? He's supposed to be the leader of the association. If it is J.M. Kennedy, he's supposed to be the one representing the artists who were selected and chosen, you know, to perform on that stage. He has the right to say, you know what? These are West Nile artists. I'm the cluster head of Uma West Nile. And of course, these artists cannot perform at this rate unless otherwise. That is where my point is. But okay, let's get back. And of course, I'll be asking about uh, one or two things here as we roll down. Chuku Chuku Power by Pepsi Uganda. And this is West Nile Television. Let's get back more. A beautiful sunset with a beautiful sound melody. When you come down in Africa, see the black woman. Nice playing melody. Let your pen in the yard. Smile, beautiful Carolina. Nice and looking Carolina. A beautiful pen. Carolina, a black woman, Carolina, sweet Carolina, she's a beautiful looking girl, nice lady, oh, she kept her secrets of loving me, hey, she knows how much I love her, she means to me, hey, she never let it out my love She never let it out my kiss She never let it out where I come from Carolina What she knows, she knows Bright your day Bright your shining side Carolina Smile beautiful Carolina Carolina, Carolina, Carolina Nice and looking Carolina a beautiful face, Carolina. Carolina, Carolina, Carolina. A black woman, Carolina. Carolina, Carolina, Carolina. This is the day Mama sent me. Ooh, hey. This is the day Papa sent me to look for my Carolina. Ooh, hey. Down in a riverside town. Down in a uptown town, sweet with a beautiful dream. Naturally, understanding black woman with a beauty. Oh oh, Carolina, hey. We used to study together, moving in a street together, elbow to elbow. Carolina, Carolina, hey. Kiri kiri kolo mata chika bari mai Kiri kiri sengalo me mavu dole dole Kiri kiri mungalo mavu dole dole Down in a Arua yard Down in a African yard Down in a riverside Carolina nice and beautiful sweet Smile beautiful Carolina Carolina, Carolina, Carolina Nice and looking Carolina Carolina, Carolina, Carolina a beautiful face, Carolina. Carolina, Carolina, Carolina. A black woman, Carolina. Carolina, Carolina, Carolina. Be down on the street, I'm looking, looking for Carolina. Carolina. Nice looking, looking lady like, like a Carolina. Street panda roots on an African yard. Nice looking lady, blue like red like me now. In a the yard an African yard She got a beautiful sense of humor Everybody know that the Carolina beautiful sign inside African lady, bright look lady, nice and beautiful Girl sweet, girl sweet, girl sweet, girl sweet Alright, uh, welcome back, welcome back from that break uh, 
and of course uh, Caroline uh, coming from uh, Virus One Stone. Oh yes, uh, we're actually going to be summarizing, uh, you know, the discussion right here. But I think uh, Virus will still have one or two things to put forward right there. We'll be telling us about your brand new projects that are forthcoming, uh, especially this particular year, uh, which is now a free one. Yes, uh, it's actually a year that most artists are looking forward to. Already two months into the year, and you know the lockdown lifted probably. Uh, the year for artists to make money, to make big hits, to make, you know, new projects and all that. But you've got to be going to that in a very short as well. Uh, let's summarize the concert. Uh, according to you, it was a no or a yes? It was 5.10. Okay, 5.10. Yeah, yeah. That is your rating. Yeah. Okay. And probably tell us something about uh, the association. Did you guys think you need that association back? You've been a legendary artist. You've been in the industry for a long while. You saw that, uh, you know, association come through. Uh, probably, you know, it will really work out positively uh, for the industry. You know, currently we are building an association called ESSA. It okay. is like, uh, it is like, uh, a year on year and uh, one one month old something like that okay so it's a it's a good thing and uh actually even so many people knows about this esa esa is it uh is it the uh, is it arua stake is it stakeholders something association association yeah. okay yeah yeah uh, okay so actually that is the that is the board currently we are trying to build up yeah, but it is genuine. Uh, yeah. Uh. Are, are you building it under UMA, Uganda Musicians Association, or you're just building it? <laughs> I think. I think. Uh, I that think one is that one is strictly Western Nile Arua. Okay. Yeah. Western Nile Arua is for the whole of West Nile. It's Western Nile. Let me say. I think. I've been artist from uh, uh, let me uh, sub region, Madi sub region, and the uh, maybe. Yeah. It, it, it actually has artists from these other regions. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think uh, I think it's a different one, Moss, uh, because uh, like you said, Uma is uh, is head J M Kennedy, yeah, and uh, Uma is uh, Uma is uh, all over Uganda. All over, but the cluster head of yeah. West Nile is J M Kennedy. He's, Jim Kennedy, uh, he's yeah. the one representing West yeah, Nile yeah. in the in the in the headquarters. Even I remember there was a time, <laughs> Essa also called J M Kennedy mm. head to head, talk to talk. Okay. But uh, I was surprised when this deal came, uh, Esa never... They were not informed. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how that happens. So, yeah. You see, this is Uganda. Uganda is always Uganda. Okay. Uh, true. Uh, let's, let's, let's actually roll down to the new projects. Maybe you're working upon, yeah? Uh, I told you it's a new year, a year of, uh, you know, hard work and yeah. uh, probably ripping big in the pockets as well. What is new? You know, all along I've been doing a lot of things here and there, here and there. But this year, the project I'm trying to lay out is I want to go back on that top of the chart with reggae. You know, reggae music, it has been, it, it's actually very difficult if you take in Uganda, in Africa, for you to push up reggae. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to concentrate much in pushing reggae music okay. to the highest level. Although I will be mix, mixing it with, you know, things like uh, raga dancehall, things like uh, dancehall that were being introduced to preserve reggae music. Yeah. So I will be going through those lines. Okay. Uh, still under Buffalo Camp, most I think want to ask you yeah, something. Yeah, uh, there's uh, uh, he, uh, the project you are coming up with, reggae, are you going to do it alone or you are going to do it with your colleague? Man, there are so many reggae artists I want to come up with in different places. No, um, I mean you have been working together with somebody. Yeah. You are you a duo. Are yeah. you going to do it alone, the project as you are saying, or you are going to do it together? Because sometime back, I remember when you came here, you said you have no any problem with him. Definitely. You are, you are coming up with that what? Is, uh, that yeah. is uh, Andy yeah. Joe. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Of course, in my com uh, upcoming album, he has a part to play there. Okay. Yeah. So the upcoming album features uh, Andy Joe as well. Andy has a part okay. there. Okay. Uh, still under Buffalo Cam? Uh, uh, no, Andy has uh, his own uh, crew nowadays. Own crew. Yeah, he's but actually... But you are the CEO he's, of he's, Buffalo Cam. 
Me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Okay. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, we're, we're winding up the talk. And, of course, we'll be getting back to more of the jams right here. Talking Chuku Chuku Live. Uh, Pepsi powering the show. Refreshing up with Pepsi Max out there. At only 1,000 Ugandan ceilings. Uh, and, of course, uh, there's another package that actually goes down at 1,500. We're talking about the 500 ml package. Thanks a lot for always, you know, holding down with Pepsi and watching West Nile Television. We have a uh, virus right with us in the studios. A uh, very much legendary reggae artist. Is, uh, he has been in the limelight for a very long while trying to discuss a few things right here virus we're winding up in a very shortest while when is that album dropping you know as i'm talking right now uh. i have two albums which are i didn't drop out okay the reason being this lockdown was really oppressing things oppressing things so much uh. so the songs I've been releasing, there were songs which are to come. Uh, uh, it's like a companion songs. Okay. They are like, actually off the album. Yeah. Okay. Those were the songs which I was releasing. Like, if you take Boda Boda Man, uh, uh. to be serious. But a Boda Man, I think, has been like for three months now. Yeah. That's, those are the songs I released. Boda Boda Man, Gun Down. You see those songs? Yeah. In this COVID time, there were a lot of things which are going on. So, actually, I was much concentrating on those areas. But this time around, I'm trying to pull out with uh, also love kind of rock and uh, like songs like Carolina. Okay. Yeah. All right. And, uh, uh, uh yeah, a lot of songs. Uh, we're winding are, up. We're going to be giving yeah. you 30 seconds to summarize uh, as, uh, uh, you know, we, we, we put a hold on uh, this talk. But for now, one last thing. Just in case uh, the same organizers come down with this concert, listen next week. What do you assume? Let them go straight to Buffalo Camp Music and uh, face the Buffalo Camp uh, company. Okay. This time around. If they are to come back, what do yeah. you think is the best procedure that, that will is, favor all the Western yeah, artists? Yeah. No, like a procedure that will favor all the Western that artists. That one, like, uh, you know, it's good to live like exemplary uh, to others. Okay. As I'm talking now, you see, I, I saw something LP Sadi posted uh, in uh. social media. Really. And by the way, he's one of the biggest beneficiaries. That, that he's one a, guy who was highly paid. Because yeah. of the value he attached to himself. Did, Let's I, summarize. Actually, I didn't know about that, but the thing he posted there mm. was positive. So I think we, we, we Western Island artists, and uh, I think we should take that as a challenge to organize ourselves to run this system. True. Organize yourselves as West Nile artists, and of course, you'll always have the best benefits, just in case, uh, uh, in any way, uh, any promoter comes around, in any way, any big, uh, you know, events come through, you guys will always rip big, and, you know, you, you, you'll, you'll keep smiling. There will be no complaints, but it all starts with you out there as an artist, uh, you know, how you're supposed to organize yourself.